I would also be in favor of sending this back to some other process. I think this ordinance as it is, at least from my perspective, is a dead duck. I, I can't support it in this form. Uh, the number of complications that were raised tonight that hadn't crossed my mind scare me <laughs> from people at the podium. Um, the one, the reservations I had coming in here and that I've expressed previously are still there. Um, clearly we've identified a problem, the sidewalks are broken. We've heard about a lot of different solutions, but I'm completely unconvinced that this is the solution. Um, I heard lots of people stand at that podium tonight and say there ought to be something fair that everyone does, and that <clears throat> sounds great, uh, but needs a lot of exploration. And I don't think we can do that in this council process. I think we need to do it some other, some other way. Um, and let me get to my second point, which is the way government does these sorts of meetings in California is pretty much fundamentally broken from a community engagement point of view. We put a stupid ad in a newspaper. In this case, it was lucky it was on the last page, so more people had a chance to see it. Usually it's just buried on, you know, page 13, section C of the B, and nobody reads that stuff. Um, but for a government agency in California, that's standard. They did their due diligence, and you should know, and as a Here citizen, shame on you for not reading page 13C of the B and the fine print. Um, on Wednesday or whenever, it's just, it's a problem. And we're really innovative here in Ranch Cadet. We do a lot of things really well. And this is something we ought to be able to figure out. And very rarely have we figured it out. Tonight we figured it out because KCRA, and probably stimulated by some residents and radio stations, um, you know, made this a big deal. And we shot ourselves in the foot as a result. Um, we had a room full of people not happy with us. Now we have a few people left in the room still not happy with us. But the majority of them, even if we were to all blast this thing tonight and say we're not doing it, the majority went home mad and are going to stay mad. And a whole bunch of them never came and they're mad. So we clearly, just by the evidence, didn't do something right. We have the ability to do something better. I don't know that I know exactly what it is, but you know, social media and using the newsletter for big issues like this or something, there's got to be a better way to communicate with our residents than page 13, section C of some newspaper. And so I would say send this back, do a, do a nice community engagement exercise where you bring people together to talk about, we know what the problem is, sidewalks are broken, there's 14 different solutions, let's throw ideas up on the wall, figure out what it is and get a working group together so that when the next solution comes up and gets to this process, we've got at least, you know, 20 citizens who are well informed and have followed it along and said, yeah, that makes sense to us because we're experts on it now. And we may be looking at that group because they're willing to stay here in this room. But there, there's some group out there of folks who would do that. And we'd be in a lot better place than we were tonight, which was basically throw this up on the wall without good public notice and, you know, have a little hurricane in the room. That's just, that's just my two cents.